Today we're going to be reacting to World's Highest Basketball Shot by Dude Perfect. What's good, AK Gang? I'm back with another video. <laughs> Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get straight to it. Only thing between us and history, 800 feet. Let's go, boys. Come on, we can do it. highest basketball shot we're about to attempt the most improbable trick shot that we've ever done scientifically this is basically impossible and what better place to test the odds than las vegas baby since the beginning dude perfect has been known for mainly one thing trick shots and for the last 14 years, our goal has been to push the limits of what we think is possible. In 2009, we went to Kyle Field and made the world's longest basketball shot. Yes! What? But we didn't stop there. We went higher yeah! and higher. Holy cow! Then in 2016, we went to Oklahoma City and shot a ball off a 530-foot tower, officially claiming the record for the world's highest basketball shot. Finally, in 2018, the record was broken once again from an insane height of 660 feet. The only problem, it wasn't us. Our record was broken by how ridiculous. And after five years, it's time to push the limits once again and see what's possible. Our team has been talking about taking back the record for quite some time. I saw the highest shot on the board for like three years. What used to be, hey, let's go out and shoot a video. It's not like that anymore. There's a lot more prep work that goes into these videos. We physically took 18 people in order to pull. My bad job. Us off. Our team started calling every location we could think of that was taller than 660 feet. So obviously, the height Not limitation comes into play no. first. <laughs> we looked at Houston, Moab, Glen Canyon Dam in Arizona, Washington, D.C., Miami, Chicago. We got a zillion no's before we finally found a yes. We went to the place that is known for all the craziness, Las Vegas. We decided to attempt this shot from the Strat Hotel on the world-renowned Las Vegas Strip. To truly show you the height of this building, let's start with our own tall man, Cody Jones, shown here next to a standard 10-foot basketball goal. Our Kyle Field shot was from 150 feet. Then, our Oklahoma City shot was from 533 feet. The current record stands at 660 feet. And if made, this shot would be from 856 feet, breaking the current world record by nearly 200 feet. We decided to hit up our friends Mark Rober and How Ridiculous to get their take on us attempting the shot. You had to give us odds for it. What are we talking? It's over one in a million. Oh, gosh. It's, it's okay. gotta be. I'm not gonna lie to you. Our team's already planned it. So I feel like we have to at least just go, like, put in our time. All That's things are possible. It's a bit of a numbers game, right? You're gonna put enough down there. Sure. One just might go in. If it's windy, you're in trouble. How long are you guys going to be there for? I think we have the tower booked for three days. Is that enough? There is enough? no way. <laughs> if you do this, you guys will be the luckiest five people in the world. You got the Magnus effect going on, right? If the slightest spin at the top, you could be a, a football field away, just laterally, right? Vegas is super windy. It's just not going to happen. I thought we were supposed to feel better after talking to Mark. Not Why did we do this? I don't know. I'm not sure. If you feel like you're just not going to get it. I mean, come on, just dig a little deeper. Keep pushing. I will eat a basketball if you guys get this shot. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Very helpful. The good news for us is if you break it, then we can try and break it again. So good luck. Good luck, gentlemen. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh. <laughs> Great, let's do it. My role on this shoot was creating a net system to protect the rooftop. We designed and constructed a 10,000 square foot net to catch the basketballs to mitigate any damage to their roof. Nobody's done this before, so we're all kind of going to it like, we should be better safe than sorry. This is what we pitched over to the Strat, and they said, hey, we love it, you guys got the green light. After the art team finished prepping, they gave us the thumbs up to hop on a plane, and we were on our way to attempt the impossible.
the morning of our flight, typical Cody fashion, he sends a text message. Hey, by the way, I'm not gonna catch the flight today. He was having monster headaches. And I thought it was just because he has a broken golf swing and it was like, look, I mean, you're too jerky, you're causing headaches. Turned out to be a little more serious than that. What's up guys? Uh, went to the doctor with that headache, did a CT scan and I do have like a small tear in one of the arteries um in the back of my head and he says it'll heal on its own but i gotta lay low so i will not make the trip but i believe in you guys i'm doing great we're gonna be fine here come on baby world record time let's go how are we feeling right now what time is that good uh it's 8 16 at home trips. but here it's 6 16. we're going to falls early we are currently setting up tripods and monitors uh, if Derek and i don't get blown off this uh, roof i'll consider it a success <laughs> that's our bar for success at this point is getting blown off a roof I ain't gonna sugarcoat it, brother. It's windy. So the first day that we got to the Strat, my first reaction was, okay, this doesn't seem like that much higher than Oklahoma City. That all changed when we got up to the top of the Strat. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That street is so in play, it's not even funny. Everybody buckle up. <laughs> oh, oh God. 12 car pileup on the Vegas Strip today after road basketball falls from tower and lands right in the middle of a windshield of a car carrying 13 puppies. It's a headline just waiting to happen. So finally the day came, the goal is set up. Eight. 156 feet away from the tower that Ty is standing on. Ty's up there, he throws the very first ball down. Here we go, day one, first shot. Good Chad. Yep. Five, four, Ain't no way you're doing this that. This is the shot, world's bro. highest basketball shot. Ain't no way he's doing it on the first try. did not even hit on the roof. Oh dear. Oh. Just about 50 yards that way. We're okay. And we have time to recalibrate. So you'd have a ball land on the road. Then you'd have a ball kiss off about the 10th floor of the nearby hotel. The wind was just whipping. Chad and I both just looked at each other like, there's no way. Like, this isn't going to happen. That might hit the hotel. Heads up, mate. It's a little right. Yikes. It's got a shot, now it's right. That's on the street, Trent! We were missing that net system by, by so many feet. We just had to ask, like, hey, are y'all cool with us taking this goal beyond this net? And they gave us the green light. What happens first? Do we make the shot or get kicked out of Vegas? Oh, you, this is fun. I could do this all day. Day one, shutting it down at 9.30. Winds are getting too high, getting too dangerous. Losing control of the balls. Day two is supposed to be better. Let's regroup, let's come back out day two. We still have two full days. Boy. Head to the top, day two. Let's make a shot. Everyone was like, oh, day two's gonna be great. Five mile an hour winds, and it's gonna be perfect. We're getting ready to go out there onto the platform. They come out and they're like, guys, no good. Our wind that was supposed to be. Shit, bro. It is 6 a.m. <laughs> Las Vegas time. <laughs> My God, damn. Be a nice, like, five gusting to eight miles an hour, just currently red at 54. 54 mile an hour gusts and 27 mile an hour winds. Does it feel that windy down there? Uh, it's pretty windy, super windy where we are, but when you can find the drive, you can tell. It's just so unpredictable. We had to kind of wait for about an hour for it to die down. Still didn't get great, but it was safe enough for us to go out on the platform, start shooting. Wow, wow, that's more than 22. Ties up there, he throws the very first ball down, and it was windy. Uh, which it wasn't supposed to be, but of course it was. And the ball went into the street. Oh my God. The safety piece was tough because it's this balancing act. It's like, you know, you only have three days in Vegas. So you want to keep ripping off shots because if you don't, you're never going to make it. Oh, that's going to hit Kobe's car. Yep. But it's a really serious safety concern. It's not really a position anybody wants to be in is throwing projectiles off a 856 foot tower. Like seeing those balls, like, go off of the roof and knowing that you're the one that threw it, it became a point where it was like, it's not worth it. I'm just not going to throw until something bad happens and then stop. No, that's just stupid. That doesn't make sense. And I was right there with him. I was kind of like, dude, I don't know if we should keep doing this. It's not worth it to cause a wreck, injure somebody. Yeah, and I'm saying that can't happen. Just lock that down. That cannot happen. That's a scary place to be, and I know one that Ty was uncomfortable with. Being totally honest with you guys, it was tense because we've got two completely different points of view. Ty and the guys up top, including me, are seeing what the balls are doing, and we're like, 
and down below, the guys are just seeing the ball not go in the goal. Guys, we are running out of time, and we're not going to hit anybody. Let's just shoot the ball. The one that I tried to flirt with, it, it hit the cable, and that's the one that you went. I, I still don't think you flirt with it. You throw right. You have to go to You throw right the whole time. I was getting pretty frustrated, so I'm like, Ty, just shoot it to the right. Ball's in the air. Oh, I get it. You don't want to be responsible for that ball, but at the same time, kind of discouraging that like we weren't seeing the momentum that we expected. I kind of made the decision like I, I like I do not want to shoot another ball. Ultimately, there's just one guy up there who's feeling the weight of launching that basketball off, and I didn't feel like it was really fair that Ty was the only one who had to do that. I got to hand it to him. Kobe stepped up. Kobe was like, "Man, put me in a harness. I want to try it." So when I stepped up there, I felt like, OK, let me just give it a different approach and see what happens, because there's no right or wrong answer. So I let the first shot go, and shockingly, yes, it got pretty close. Yes! Oh! So immediately, I'm hopeful, thinking, OK, may have kind of found a groove here. Let's, let's stick with it. Second ball did the exact same thing, and it landed in the street. Hit the street. Move the goal to the street! <laughs> I probably shot. I don't know, two, three hours worth of basketballs that day. And by the end of all of it, I was really confident this is never going in. We still, at this point, had not even hit the goal, which is like a bad sign. This is not the place to do this. Very quickly, I hear conversations about, hey, what are we going to do as a video replacement? And I'm like, I can't believe we're talking about this. I think a big turning point to help continue this attempt, it was meeting with the GM of the Strat. They suggested a plan where we could close down their valet. That would allow us to not have to worry so much about some of those stray balls. I think we're just praying that there's less wind tomorrow. And I feel like there's at least a little bit of hope. I was not going to come on the stress through the camera this morning. At this point, something's wrong. Hey, guys, day three. Been at it for two days, that's hence the day three. And I feel good about it. This is our best weather opportunity by far, not close. For the first time, I felt like when I'd shoot a ball off, like I could tell Chad, hey, that's that's good. We had way better wind conditions. I mean, there's zero wind. Like, it's almost like eerily quiet. I was actually uh, supposed to leave day three, which I didn't know about until we got to Vegas. I would have loved to leave day three, but. So I actually had to fly out Thursday night ahead of the rest of the team, and so, uh, two o'clock was kind of the deadline. Day three in the morning was the first time where I think there was like a little bit of hope that kind of came back. Like when I do everything that I need to do on my end, the ball goes relatively close to where it should. <sighs> then the wind came back. It just felt like the most random game of Battleship ever. Team morale all across the board was, was pretty bad. I know I look calm, but it's because it's day three and you just kind of don't expect it to go in. I think it was the hottest day of the three, so that's tough for the, the crew down below especially. Probably the best way I could describe it would be like taking the SAT outside in the blazing heat. It was just mentally taxing. You're focused every time. I will say the one thing that kind of gave me a jolt of energy was you filming Tim up there in his speech, <laughs> and then when y'all sent that out. He sends us the uh, Miracle on Ice speech. Great moments are born from great opportunity, and that's what we have here today boys that is what we've earned here today one shot we've tried it a thousand times we might miss 999 but not this time not this shot today we make it today we break history and we make this shot because we can today we specifically the Five Two Perfect guys are the greatest <laughs> trick shooters in the world. Come on, boys, we can do this. You go out there and take it. I'm inspired. I'm inspired by leaders like Tim who step up in the face of adversity. And with that being said, I, I still don't think it's going to go in, but I'm going to shoot till my little heart's content and I got to leave. So let's do it, boys. Do you actually believe in your speech? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I, I, I didn't. Start shooting, go for the next hour, 15 minutes, hits 2 o'clock. Cody Bland is in there shouting through the glass, and he's like, hey, your flight's delayed. Just keep shooting. And I'm kind of like, 
great. But at this point again, it was like, well, great, you have till 3.30, but balls are going everywhere, the wind's crazy, like we're back to square one. You know, Tim's miracle on ice speech has kind of started to wear off. Until about 2.33, I think it was, or something like that. I throw this ball off, starts to curve back. I'm like, okay, that's pretty close. Corey was laying down right beside me. We kind of sat up and we're like, wow, this looks pretty good. It is. Critics are flying high for air. Oh. It's a do not miss experience. Here we go. That defies gravity. The whole world is watching. Certified fresh with a 98% audience score. This is what's hot right now. Air, rated R. Watch now on Prime Video. We talk about we cash back. Cash back. We talking about cash back in. He isn't even on course for the basketball hoop. And then last second, about five seconds before the ball got down to us, I started feeling really good about it. And knowing how much control that I had over it, I cannot look at that shot and say that God didn't have his hand in it. He has a purpose for Dude Perfect. And in that moment, it was kind of like reassuring. To be able to pull that off should never have happened. It made me feel like for some reason, God's just not done with Dude Perfect yet. is the world's highest basketball shot. Come on, come on! freaking got it dude telling the story like i got start to get emotional telling it but like it, it was such like a relief in that moment truly like it, at that point nobody thought it was going in Woo! zero goal hits in three days zero and the one time we hit it it went in <laughs> that was awesome man being able to celebrate with the team being able to you know to come together and i think that was in itself is probably one of the biggest inspirations for us wanting to pull it off not just for us and the record but for our team as a whole <laughs> right now. So. I was so proud of the entire team. Everybody worked so hard to do their part to pull it off. It doesn't even feel like a team, it's a family. Go Jones! As stupid as it might sound to some people out there that, hey, these guys are throwing balls off buildings and making shots, yeah, whatever, that ain't changing the world. I can tell you one thing, it's enriching our relationships here at Do Perfect, and that means a lot. Official ball for now. Going back to the man that shot it. TT! This one goes out to everybody here. This is for you guys. Yeah, baby! It's fun to bring the record back home. If how ridiculous or anyone else wants to try and break it, be our guest. It's really cool to see this platform is given to us for more than just our own successes. The amount of control that we have over things, over Dude Perfect, over the world, over our circumstances is very little. But whatever God blesses us with and whatever successes that we do have, we're going to continue to point back to him and give him the glory for it. And that's the way that we're going to continue to look at it as long as Dude Perfect is a thing. All right, should someone sign in honor of Cody? Nope. Nah, if he ever comes here one day, he can sign it. There you go. Nuggets! See ya! Dude, perfect. Well, <laughs> they did it, y'all. They hit the world's the world's highest basketball shot. Um. <laughs> We think. Sheesh. Uh, shit. <laughs> what other. I'm gonna end up reacting to more dude perfect videos. But. That's the end of this video. That's the end of this video, y'all. 
It was a crazy one. I didn't think they was going to hit it in three days, but they hit it in three days. Um, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Comment down below what other do with perfect videos you guys would like to see. And smash that subscribe button. And turn on that post notification bell. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.